What is a ghost flight? A ghost flight refers to an aircraft that flies nearly empty, either with no passengers or very few passengers. Sometimes flights transporting prisoners are also referred to as ghost flights. Airlines operate ghost flights to retain their allocated slots. Slots refer to the permission granted to an airline to take off and land at a specific airport within a designated time frame. Slots hold significant financial and operational importance for airlines. To ensure they are not forfeited, airlines operate flights even when there are no passengers aboard, safeguarding their access to these valuable airport resources. These types of flights are predominantly operated in the US and Europe. The European Commission mandates that approximately 80% of allocated slots must be utilized. Once lost, slots are exceedingly challenging to regain, underscoring their critical importance to airlines. Indeed, due to intense competition in the aviation sector, if an airline loses a prime slot, numerous other airlines are ready to seize it swiftly. Airlines typically adhere to the 80-20 rule, which means they utilize their slots 80% of the time. Throughout various significant events like the U.S. attack in 2001, the financial crisis in 2008, the outbreak of SARS, and the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been instances where regulations regarding slot usage, including the 80-20 rule, have been relaxed. There are both advantages and disadvantages to airlines operating in this manner. Regarding the advantages, maintaining the aircraft properly is assured, and the need for storage space to house idle aircraft can be avoided, thus preserving slots. Likewise, it's possible to keep pilots' licenses up to date. In instances where pilots are not actively flying, maintaining their licenses ensures that if they return to flying duties later, they can avoid the need for additional training in cases where their licenses have expired. Indeed, Operating flights in this manner enables airlines to keep pilots current, maintain slots, and ensure proper aircraft maintenance, thus guaranteeing aircraft airworthiness. Even budget airlines like Ryanair operate ghost flights in this manner to maintain aircraft airworthiness. In addition, some airlines prepare the aircraft for takeoff, then circle the airport before returning to land. This practice is employed to uphold the aircraft's airworthiness. However, this practice comes with several disadvantages, the most significant being the emission of carbon dioxide. Currently, the aviation industry contributes 2.4% of the total carbon dioxide emissions worldwide. The aviation industry contributes about 5% to global warming. When aircraft operate without passengers in this manner, it increases carbon dioxide emissions, exacerbating the environmental impact. Currently, there are numerous petitions urging to halt ghost flights, particularly in the UK and the European Union. Experts studying climate change warn that these flights, if continued, will lead to significant environmental harm due to increased carbon emissions. If an airline consistently has few passengers on a regular route, they have the option to sell their slots or exchange them with other airlines. Acquiring slots for airlines is a costly endeavor. The availability and cost of slots are determined by numerous factors and are subject to calculation based on various considerations. Indeed, the level of airport congestion plays a significant role in determining slot availability and cost. Similarly, factors such as the number of slots an airline effectively maintains and utilizes as well as the frequency of landings and takeoffs, play a crucial role. This includes considerations such as the airline's turnaround time for aircraft or how quickly they can prepare an aircraft for its next flight. Similarly, at airports with only one runway, slot availability is often restricted due to limited capacity. In contrast, airports with multiple runways can accommodate more takeoffs and landings, resulting in a greater availability of slots. Indeed, some airports impose curfews during certain hours of the day, prohibiting takeoffs and landings. This further reduces slot availability at those times. All these factors contribute to the allocation of slots at each airport. Due to the significant expense involved, airlines often opt to operate flights even with few or no passengers on board to ensure they do not forfeit any allocated slots. In 2016, 
Oman Air purchased a slot at London Heathrow Airport for approximately $75 million, marking a record sale. Every airline operates in a similar manner. Qantas Airways invests heavily to secure prime slots at key airports worldwide. Airports like Heathrow and JFK are highly coveted due to their significance, resulting in the substantial cost of their slots. Considering all these factors, airlines resort to operating ghost flights to ensure they never miss out on valuable slots. Thank you.